is when people ask me, well, you know, what is alienation? I'll say it's when one parent gives a child permission to break the other parent's heart. Parental alienation is a family dynamic in which a parent engages in behaviors that are likely to foster a child's unjustified rejection of the other parent. Generally, the end of a marriage is what triggers it, although there are plenty of people who say to me, you know, I think my, my current spouse is undermining me and corrupting my relationship with my kid. It's sort of like a Greek tragedy. We have these different players, right? So we have the alienated child. We have the targeted parent. That's the parent who ultimately will be unjustifiably rejected. And then we have the parent behind the scenes engaging in these parental alienation strategies. If your former spouse starts to refer to you by your first name, for example, or not allow the children to have photographs of you in their home. If you as a parent find that you can never get through to your kid on the phone when they're with the other parent or you're always being hung up on or the other parent isn't sharing the cell phone or email address of the kid, these are all signs that the other parent is interfering in your relationship with your children. It doesn't happen overnight. That's sort of the main thing. It's incremental erosion of critical thinking skills. Too often the targeted parents are more focused on their victimhood and some of these targeted parents lose sight of the fact that the child is also the victim and they end up being very angry at their child. I think the most important thing is really to understand that alienated kids are abuse victims. I would certainly say for targeted parents, never give up on your child.